guys, so we came in through the jungle. Two months of your biceps were done by several reasons in Chachoben and was done for one thing. We're coming through, this is the passage we're walking in. Now the human sacrifices were like this. It's like crazy. Mayan used to sacrifice a uh, human life. If we the God, the most essential thing that we have, the blood. It's so crazy to think about it. You guys already see Chachoben ruins? Yes, guys, this is history right here for sure. This is crazy. Welcome to a cultural adventure. Guys, welcome to Costa Maya, Mexico. Welcome, welcome to Chachoven. 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 Mexico Costa Maya. Yes, guys, we're getting off the ship right now. We're walking down the pier. This is going to be a crazy adventure. It's going to be so nice. There's so much culture to learn about. Right, baby? Definitely, guys. Uh, you can see we dressed ready for exploring this oh, yeah. island. Oh, yeah. uh, we're going to go to the ruins, to the lagoons, and much, much more. Yeah, definitely. We have a beautiful day coming up ahead of us. Uh, it's going to be a lot of adventure. A lot of learning. The Mayan culture itself is very big. There's yeah. so much to learn about. And uh, hopefully this trip is gonna help us a lot to send us back home with something else that we're gonna know. And you guys are coming with us. For sure. Definitely guys, let's go explore. Okay guys, so we're towering towards the port and you can see Costa Maya port, that's how it looks like. I see a lot of palms, I see a lot of nature. Yeah, this, this is the terminal, look at this baby. The music and everything. You know, this is right at the entrance of the terminal, guys. So when you walk through the uh, terminal, yeah. you're going through a lot of stores, actually. It sounds very familiar when you stay in the terminal, right? Baby? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. But this is Costa Maya, guys. Let's explore a little bit and see what we can find, for sure. Let's go, guys. Baby, this is such a big port though, right? Oh yeah, it's huge and actually I like it, it's very beautiful. It's very nice, yeah, because all the design and everything look like little uh, small cabins, like, yeah. you know, like the Mayan tradition, cultural part yeah, of things. I love yeah. that, it definitely looks very nice. There's a lot of stores, all type, you can get all type of things right here. Like if you don't want to leave, let's say you don't want to leave the port, you just want to come and stay here. Look at this beautifulness right here, you can just stay, oh, yeah. grab a you chair have, and uh, stay there. Bar in the pool, you have yeah. a lot of things here. So that's a bar right there. Look at the pool as well. <music> by any chance you just don't want to go anywhere, you come over here, stay by one of the bars, get on the pool, and you can spend the whole day over and here. Just enjoy your time. Yeah, it's going to be nice, Mexico. guys. For us, we got to go down because we, we want to learn a little bit more of the culture, right? So let's see what yes, we can do. Yes, definitely. We really enjoy um, explore the yep. islands we go to see the culture. Yep, for sure. Um, I think it's just. I don't know, it's teaching you something, it's showing you new things. It You're is different, especially being in Mexico and how big their cultural uh, history, uh, historic is. Yeah. History is, is something that you can let it pass, guys. We definitely have to be part of it, for sure. Definitely. Guys, it's crazy how it's hot here today. Guys, it's insane. This is Ooh. probably the hottest day, and that's counting Miami, that is counting oh, Florida. Yeah, yeah. Baby, but it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't know how it's going to be 12, I don't 1 o'clock. I don't know, but they've been right saying us that it's good to bring something like this because Guys, if you're not covered from the sun, you're definitely going to be. It is crazy how what you see out there is a pyramid as well, but we are walking into our excursion uh, person right now. This is Costa Maya, guys. It's hot, but it's gonna be interesting day for sure. Definitely, guys, need some water. <laughs> okay, guys. So apparently, we learned something new. Apparently, the island called not Costa Maya uh, is just name of the port, but the island actually called Mahawal. Yeah, Mahawal is the name of the, all this area right here. The port is a private port, you know, and uh, the name is called after his company, the uh -huh. owner company. So that's very important information to know because we keep calling this Costa Maya. Costa Maya, Costa mm -hmm. Maya, but uh, that's the good thing when you come out and you learn a little bit of the culture itself. Mm -hmm. Ok 
Okay, guys, so we're in the Cachaba Marines. Yes, guys, we already came over here, and this is the first thing that we're gonna be doing right here on this port in Mexico, guys. This is mainland. It was about an hour to come over here from the port, right, baby? Yeah, guys, this was about an hour, but we've been looking through the window, oh. learning a few things. So time passed quickly. It's raining. The Elsa gave us some umbrellas, and yep. the excursion Elsa will give us some water, so we'll definitely have everything. Yeah, for sure. It has been very great. I mean, we're coming over here. We touch bases a little bit on the Mayan culture mm -hmm. and the villages around the area. Now we're approaching, you know, the meeting point to continue to the Cachoven ruins, and uh, we're gonna show you some of the things that are around here, guys. But so far. Beside the rain, and it seems like it's clear up a little bit, right, baby? So Definitely, it's gonna guys. Be good. So I think first it will get better. Hey, guys. So we actually been able to learn that where we came from, the Costa de Maya. Yeah. Uh, it's the south of the Mexico. So oh, the Yucatan Peninsula. Right? Yes, uh, it's the south of the Mexico. So. Pretty much there, uh, if there is no tourists, there's pretty much only locals. That's why there's so much jungles. They don't have like those big restaurants chain and all of that. Yep. It's more on the north part of the Mexico. Guys, so we came through the jungles, through the ruins. Yes, guys, we're coming through. This is the passage we're walking in. So far, everything super organized, super nice. Baby, I'm very happy with this excursion so far. Oh yeah, right. we too, I mean, we too. And actually, they provide water outside and I think some tacos, right? Yeah, then later, after we get out of here, we're gonna go to Yeah, eat. before we go to the lagoon, we're Until gonna eat something. Yeah, so definitely, it's nice, guys. So, you know, there's different things to do here in Costa Maya, but we, we're loving it, because we're learning right. so much about the culture itself. So, I think it's gonna be a fun time, for sure. I saw already see Chakchobian ruins. Yes, guys, this is history right here for sure. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here in Chakchobian ruins. Yes, guys, this is definitely history right here. You know, the, the Mayan community is so old, so big. It's crazy just to think about it. Oh, yeah. Let me touch that. Stuff. Guys, it's really exciting how old is this um, ruins. It's like crazy. It's so crazy to think about it. The craziest stuff, though, you can see how everything is just built, just rocks. You can, as you get closer to details, you can realize how everything is just on rock on top of rock and we remember this is years hundreds of years back in civilization so this was hand made all of these guys so it is crazy just to think about it for sure for sure guys which means red the color so which means rat, pen, which means place. Chakchoven can be translated as the place of the red rat. Chakchoven is not the original name of this place. When archaeologists were doing the excavations here, they never find something that says the name of this place. So they name it after the closest village, in this case, Chakchoven village. The Mayan kingdom is ginormous, it's five countries. We have Belize. We have El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala, and Mexico. So the Yucatan Peninsula, it's a flat land. Hill is all limestone. He suddenly saw hills in a place that it's supposed to be flat because these guys wasn't found like that. This was found just like, mm -hmm. do you see that hill behind me? So that is another structure. It's not a restored this one, but this was found like that. So guys, you see this base, it's just base, it's not the full ruins. It was on the top of the temple and it was found not this way it was actually the same way as you can see here and what we see behind us is that tree right there guys um 
that tree or that area specifically because this tree was planted about 20 years ago something like that that was planted when the situation i mean when this area right here was actually open for the first time you know mayan used to sacrifice uh, human life but that area was a sacred area for the era because they thought that was the way the um, people after death used to travel you know uh, in this case to the next to the next stage it's crazy it's crazy the things is all of these it's another ruins it's just need to be discovered and open for us to see yeah guys i mean we're talking about years and years and years you know yeah crazy just to think about the way back in the days i will tell you though the mayans they used to be very smart because oh, yeah. everything right here has been planted built and everything with a logic you know definitely and when you think about this that the small. technology was nothing back then and they did all of this the way they did it. it's crazy yeah and they had a lot of knowledge which i wish which is you, you can show this is another ruin you just need to be open so guys this is pretty much the ruins the only one we can climb and we're definitely gonna do that right baby oh yeah for sure we definitely want to go out there guys this is you already here we have to make it happen, guys, for sure. For Look sure. at this. We're on the top of one of the ruins, and I can see there is another one. And again, another one. It's crazy. So many ruins already opened. Uh, it's crazy. You can see here, there. You see, guys, and people still working here on opening. Yeah, they continue. That. They continue excavating because they continue discovering and discovering. We're talking about years yeah. and years of history that is just being open to the public at this moment as we speak. Right, Definitely, baby? guys. And mine has been doing a lot of drawings. So they're trying to open it from some, like make the house to open to see the drawings, actually yep. what this temple was for. Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's, a gra like, it's crazy, go, yeah, because uh, as they were saying, some of the, th the ways that we can actually get to know this is because of the drawings, as you were saying. Yeah. And I mean, that's the only way pretty much, because there was to no technology history. or anything. That's the only way to learn history, guys. Mm -hmm. This place, I'm telling you guys, is you incredible. must visit this place. It's, it's incredible, for sure. Temple number one, that one, temple number two, and actually the Venus Temple, we call it Temple 24. So now, temple number one and temple number two are dedicated also to, to, to well, celestial bodies. This one is for the moon, that one is for the sun. Human sacrifices were done by several reasons in Chachoben, it was done for one thing to feed the gods. So the previous Mayas, they didn't know that this, for example, Venus has a cycle that it's going to move, but it's going to come back at some time. They didn't know that. So nowadays we know that it takes about 90 days for Venus to travel to one side to the other side. The previous Mayas, they didn't know that. So the human sacrifices in Chachoben was done in front of the temple of Venus. It doesn't happen on the top like a lot of people say because the top is sacred. It's just to talk with the God. So when Venus is starting to move, the Maya story, they start to freak out. It's like, what is happening to this God? He's moving, he's dying. We feed the God the most essential thing that we have, the blood. It's not any blood. It has to be royal. They won't, you know, sacrifice their own children. That's why this is where they go, let's say, Chichen Itza. Yeah. kidnap the princess there but they believe in transition so transition can be done just by high class if a farmer dies like a farmer in the other life he will become as a farmer again but the high class can do better so now the, we have the prince of chichen Itza, which here is the slave so now she has two options one if she dies in the jail as a slave when she comes back in the other line she will be back as a slave again let's pretend the princess she plays she wins once she beats all the levels when the tree blooms they believe that their her soul is gonna be um free and is gonna come back in the other line better than a princess so what do you think that would be 
Okay. A queen, there you go. So that's the reason why they do human sacrifices in this area. You guys, mosquitoes here is not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke, guys. I mean, we actually brought something for the mosquito because we're in the middle we of the jungle. In the car. Yeah, we left it in the car because we left our stuff there, which was a good idea as well, because coming over here so heavy when you gotta do all the walking, mm -hmm. it's complicated, but mosquitoes are not playing games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? they they're, want, they're hungry. Yeah, and they recommend everybody for the excursion to come they with want long sleeves. Dominican and the Russian Oh yeah, coast. for sure, guys. But uh, they always recommend the people to come with long sleeves yeah. and long pants. And they actually, you can see the guides and the people that are working here, yeah, that's, that's how they it. dress. But it's so hot, guys. How can you? It is so hot. But, but it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, how so so far being the spirits? It's like so inspirational. It's really interesting, guys. So the one excursion we have, we kind of have uh, ruins and lagoon. Yep. But if you want to see all the ruins, it's separate tour, which is mm. more hours. And you spend it only here. We just, I like. We saw some ruins. We're gonna go yep. explore the Seven uh, Colors Lagoon. Which is something nice because it's just one day in port and we definitely want to see more. And that's the um, thing exactly because you only a few hours in the port of course you have to be back at the ship a certain time so yeah. you only have technically like an hour to explore over here when mm -hmm. you come in a cruise ship like we did. So just make sure that you choose your excursion wisely because I mean of course we would like to see more but we have to go back to the, to the definitely port Definitely guys well. but I think today excursion is a great been experience, yeah. a great experience. It's been amazing you know the guy she's very guys knowledgeable. Yeah, she's very knowledgeable, the car was good, you know they everything. They gave us an umbrella for it, they gave us some water, yeah. they will give us food, they will take us, everything was so nice. So yeah they gave us water, the food is going to be covered for them as well, plus all the drinks as well, they're gonna come with the food. We're going now to the Seven Colors Lagoon. It's, guys, I can tell you how exciting it's been the trip so far. And guys, guess what? I love Mexico. Mexico, we know, not just the food, it's the history. It's the history, the people, the cultural vibe, it's a lot. Mexico, definitely. definitely. I mean, every country has their story, but Mexicans definitely, Half a treasure, you yeah. know, as far as culture, half a treasure, and uh, this is amazing. We're living part of it. Okay, guys, we are back in the van right now. It feels a little better right yeah. here, right? It, it was so hot outside. Bad. It was conditioner. Yeah, we're sweating and everything, guys. It's been very hot, but guys, amazing experience. Super Definitely, amazing. I'm in love with that. It yeah. was so interesting. We learned a mm -hmm. lot. It's a lot. Yeah, we, yeah, we hope you're enjoying as much as we are. Uh, this experience definitely has been. It taught you because uh, mm -hmm. it, it takes you back so many years ago and how different civilizations used to do things, right? And you look back in the days, you can compare to how we live and how much things have changed. Definitely, it, it's just incredible to think how things change. Right, guys. The wind started going like crazy, so we'll step out yeah, for guys, a little bit. I've already been there, there's a hurricane. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna go into the water. Like Baby, you ready to meet some crocodiles right here in Lagoon? They don't live here. The lagoons are made for crocodiles. Yeah. 